Okay, hey folks. Today's video, I wanted to do something that I did a couple years back and I haven't done since then. Today, I wanted to talk about some indie brands or brands I wanna try in 2021, most of them being very small indie brand, small businesses. <laughs> I have a list of things on my phone that I wanted to talk about today. Before we get into uh, the meat of today's video, I did want to give you guys a little bit of an announcement. Um, I'm moving next month. Ha! It's the first time I'm moving in five years. Josh and I are renting a house together. Uh, we're moving in together for the first time and it's really exciting. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. We're gonna have like a dedicated filming room, streaming room. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, relieved, holy crap. So there will be at some point in February, probably an entire week where I'm not posting anything. Obviously I'll keep y'all up to date, but yeah, I'm moving next month. And at some point you will, you will see everything behind me disappear. And I'll probably film some sort of get ready with me retrospective, getting really sappy about this apartment because a lot happened in this apartment. A lot has happened in the last five years. And um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little sappy about it because this is the longest I've lived in a place besides the house where I grew up where I lived for 22 years. So, um, <sighs> change is weird. Yeah, things, stuff happening. Oh my God. So yes, let me collect the things on my phone, uh, the brands I wanna try. First brand I would like to try in 2021, uh, Davina Cosmetics. I've heard all kinds of good stuff about Davina from multiple people here on YouTube in the beauty YouTuber sphere, the small YouTuber community. Their multi-chromes look absolutely gorgeous and they do have ones that aren't like specifically multi-chromes. They have ones that are more duochrome, just beautiful, beautiful kind of sheer topper glowy shades. I'm very into them and I haven't tried them before. So I definitely would be interested in trying stuff from Davina. They do mostly single shadows. So if there's any that you specifically have tried that you think I should try, let me know in the comments because um, they're so pretty. The images, the branding images they do are really, really pretty. They don't look overly Photoshopped. They just look pretty. <laughs> Wait, are these based out of Salem, Oregon? Cute, love it. Next. Danessa Myricks. Danessa Myricks is a brand, also a makeup artist, that I have been oogling at for quite a while. And most of the stuff that I saw on YouTube when I first started hearing about the brand, it was complexion products, like balmy, glowy complexion products. And I kind of like where my complexion products are at the moment. Really the only things that I try multiples of are like contour powders or like concealers or setting powders, but like I don't switch up my foundation. However, these color fixes, these look lovely. The only thing I really like cream versions of besides like lipsticks are like eyeshadows. So these look like these beautiful, just pigments, color fix creams you can use pretty much anywhere on your face. So it looks like something that would be fun to wear on the eyes and the lips if I wanted to. You can blend it out as just like an all over wash of color or use it as like a liner, graphic liner type thing. These look really fun and bright. And oh, the neon ones look absolutely gorgeous. I don't wanna wear neon lipstick anymore, but neon eyeshadow, Yes, please. Necromancy Cosmetica is one that I, f I might've mentioned a couple years that I never ended up trying. I definitely want to try them. Um, they just are all lipsticks. <laughs> so while we're still wearing masks, I'm gonna try not to buy a bunch of lip products, but depending on where the rest of the year goes, I might get some lip stuff. Obviously also right now I'm not buying anything until I move. I'm on a, I'm on a, I'm on a purchasing embargo until Josh and I get settled into our house. So definitely interested in uh, necromancy when the time comes. <laughs> also similarly, Alamar Cosmetics came out with a line of glosses. I'm on a gloss kick right now and these look so pretty. Like they don't look overly pigmented, but they look just pigmented enough and just sparkly enough. I don't like super pigmented glosses personally, I feel like they always look a little bit milky and weird on my lips. So I like lip glosses that are very faintly pigmented or enough 
where it's just kind of a tint. These look so pretty. Oh my God, they look so pretty. Uh. Alamar, I've wanted to try Alamar for a while and I don't think they have their cheek products in stock right now. I definitely am curious about them, like the, the blush palettes. Mm. But these lip glosses look very much up my alley, but I don't need to buy a pack. I don't need to buy more lip glosses because I just bought two from Ulta in the last month. Granted, they were Ulta brand and Essence, so they were like $4 and $8. Um, next, M Cosmetics, Michelle Phan's brand, is one that I have been just like, looking at for a while. A lot of the stuff is very kind of glossier type stuff where it's cream based. So uh, the cream based products, I'm not really into specifically because I don't necessarily like using cream based products. I feel like when I see cream products, I'm always like, ooh, the branding's so pretty. And then when I get it home, like if I buy it, I'm like, I'm just not gonna use this. Like I just am not gonna use it. Especially right now, like I'm not gonna use something that's gonna be like super sticky on the face because if I do end up putting a mask on over the top, it's just gonna like wipe it all off really Really bad. At least with powders, like it doesn't wipe off nearly as poorly as like a cream product. M Cosmetics has these blush highlighty kind of powders. They look similar to the blush lights from Melt or the like glowy side from the Cover FX blush duos. And she has uh, Faded Clementine and Magic Hour. So aesthetically pleasing, so pretty. The eyeshadow palettes, while very convenient looking, very much up my alley as far as like color stories and like compactness. There's no reason for me to have like a teeny tiny little like travel friendly compact of eyeshadows. Maybe when music festivals happen again or I'm traveling, that might make sense. But as of right now, no need for any of those eyeshadows, but the blushy highlighty guys look so pretty, especially Faded Clementine. Faded Clementine looks beautiful. I went and watched a handful of old Michelle Phan videos the other day because I was just feeling very nostalgic and I'm like, damn, she was kind of the original ASMR queen. Am I right? Can we be real here? Michelle Phan was doing ASMR before ASMR was even a thing. Good luck. Next. Terra Moon Cosmetics. Oh my God, Terra Moons. Terra Moon? Terra Moons. Similarly to Davina, Terra Moons makes these beautiful duochrome, iridescent, gorgeous eyeshadows. Up until this point, I've kind of just been very loyal to like JD Glow shadows, but there's so many different brands out there that are putting out these like beautiful, sparkly, unique eyeshadows that I'm just like, my inner magpie is coming out and I'm like, mm, sparkly powder. And their imagery, the, the freaking branding images, they do a really great job at getting these really nice, macro shots of the eyeshadows without looking overly photoshopped because you know some of those brands where it's like this doesn't look like a real the eyeshadow doesn't look like this i feel like they do a good job of taking photos in the sunlight or in like specific lighting that makes the most sense for what they're trying to achieve and i just i like it but yeah terra moons Ooh. What are your favorites from that brand? What are your favorites from any of these brands? If you've tried any of them, let me know because I'm curious. Because once we get into a new house, I'm probably gonna get a new vanity because this one I can't sit at. I'll definitely be doing some like window shopping for furniture, even though pretty much all of my furniture is gonna come from thrift stores and antique stores and estate sales and my mom's garage. I will be doing some sort of window shopping video for home decor. Just you wait. Next, Auric. Oh my gosh. So I'm sure that many of you saw Samantha Ravindahl's brand launch video, uh, Auric. I can't remember what, what the name stands for, but when Sam showed the products in her video, I was like, this is like the most on brand brand <laughs> release I think I've ever seen. So many other influencers who have started brands, started with eyeshadow palettes or started with, I mean, most of them started with eyeshadow palettes. And you have like One Size Beauty that started with makeup remover, um, Dragon Beauty that started with, um, what did she start with? And, and, and Lunar Beauty started with an eyeshadow palette. Dominique Cosmetics started with an eyeshadow palette. So many brands started with some sort of eyeshadow palette or blush palette, some sort of palette that went on your face. Knowing that Sam is a sucker for cream products and glowy shit, this makes the most sense for her brand. And looking at the packaging, looking at what she put into the actual like product, or the Glow Lust like illuminator thing, it's actually quite large. Like it's bigger than a regular foundation size. So it actually does kind of make a little more sense price-wise because it is bigger than a regular just 
bottle of foundation. The freaking eyeshadows look so, so pretty. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna get any of the eye eyeshadow things from Sam, but because it is a cream eyeshadow and a powder on top, you're getting kind of two products all in one. I'm definitely interested in, in everything really. Like all of it looked really pretty. Like I could see myself mixing some of the glow lust with my foundation. Bravo, Sam. Two more. Odin's Eye Cosmetics is one that I've seen on a handful of people's channels. Um, they have uh, cheek palettes, like highlighty palettes. But what I'm particularly interested in is the um, highlighter palettes. This looks like it could be a fun kind of replacement for my Moonchild Glow Kit, which it's getting to its kind of last legs at this point because it's getting it's getting pretty old now. Looking at the the page for Odin's Eye, they're based out of Sweden. I appreciate the like Norse mythology that they've worked into it because I'm very Norwegian. Like my sister has done the uh, the ancestry thing, and we are like ridiculously Scandinavian. And so I'm like, oh, cool. Like they're based out of Stockholm. All the designs lean very like Scandinavian kind of themed. And I thought that was really cute. Dig it. And then last but not least is Mira Beauty Co. And they are based out of Atlanta. And on their website, we are a small POC and LGBTQIA plus owned beauty startup based in Atlanta. Our only mission is to uplift and support marginalized voices in the beauty space. Join us as we grow our online Mira fam and work to change this industry for the better. They've got glosses that are all sold out right now. Actually, everything is sold out right now except the lashes, but I don't really wear lashes much. But the eyeshadow palettes look absolutely gorgeous. They came out with a line of three, the Bloodline palettes. Paul Wesley Queen, Beijing Batty and Bombay Baby. They're all really, really bright and vibrant looking. And the inside matches the outside. The Beijing Batty one looks right up my alley. It's got like some really pretty blues, really bright yellows and oranges. Like that one looks like something I would wear a lot. Yeah, and the shades are really rich and saturated. So it looks like something that really anybody could wear. And I love my bright, and saturated eyeshadows. So I'm very interested in trying these. They look so pretty. Like they're so pretty. Definitely interested in Mira Beauty Co. I'll have to keep updated when they restock things because um, they're all sold out. So I'll keep my eyes on them. They, I've got, I'm following them on Instagram now, but uh, yeah, I'll leave links to all these brands, Instagrams below. Um, you guys should go check them out because a lot of them are quite small. So yeah, that was everything I wanted to uh, share in today's video. All these brands, I'm definitely interested for 2021. Let me know what are maybe some of your favorite products from them, if you have tried them. I mean, there, there's so many brands popping out these days where I'm like, well, I can't keep up with all of them. I mean, I don't need, I don't need to. There are some brands coming out with some real cool stuff. There are so many more brands that are coming out with things that aren't that exciting, but you know, you take the good, you take the bad, you take them both. And there you have the facts of life. Okay. All right. Uh, for today's song of the day. Oh my God. 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 So quick side tangent on Friday, I was at work. I was having the worst day. Um, my sister had just gotten fired from her job. It was just a bad day. I didn't feel good. I was hormonal. It was just a bad day on Friday. Or I, I was at work and I was checking my email and I get an email from Typhoon, one of my favorite bands. It was just their like newsletter that said, hey, there's a new record. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> There's a what? You new mu new, new music? N new music. Oh God. Um, <laughs> when I tell you I actually cried at my desk, I am not joking. I actually cried at my desk listening to this album because Typhoon has a way of destroying me from the inside out in the best way possible. The record is called Sympathetic Magic and they really have a way with releasing stuff at the exact right time. Not fair, Typhoon, not fair. You're perfect. Today's song of the day is Empire Builder from Typhoon. It is off their new record, Sympathetic Magic. And oh, if you like kind of like wall of sound, folkestral horns, dissonant guitars and reverb and... 
love Typhoon so much. Empire Builder is a perfect song. <laughs> I'm just gonna cry again. Oh my God, seriously, go listen to this. Go listen to the song. Go listen to it right now. I'm ordering you to listen to it. Don't even wait for the end of the video. Go listen to it right now. I'll see you later. I love Typhoon so much. I love them more than most bands. Um, there might be like two or three that I like more than them. So um, yeah, that was um, the indie brands and just brands in general that I wanna try in 2021. Maybe I'll do another one of these of like jewelry or other accessory brands. Cause I have a handful of those. There's like one brand that I'm waiting to buy something from because there's like the specific item that I want is sold out. Uh, you won't see any of these new brands until after Josh and I are moved because fuck buying anything new right now. That's not, furniture. Thanks for watching everyone. Um, if you're new here and would like to see more of me, please subscribe. That'd be cool. Like this video if you did like it. Uh, check out the links in the description below, both to all the brands that I mentioned and to Typhoon because they are amazing. Hope y'all are having a good week. Also below will be links to my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Twitch, which I stream on twice a week. I've been doing a lot of Sims stuff lately. So if you like the Sims, we just made like $9,000 real easily off of your money tree. Oh my God, look at the cow plant. Wow. <gasps> what? Oh my God. Oh my God. What, what, what? Definitely check out my Twitch. We're like maybe a hundred away from a thousand followers. So if you are interested in that, go check me out, please. I hope you are doing well. Um, stay home, wash your hands, wear your mask, especially if you're in California right now, because for some reason, Gavin Newsom decided to lift the stay at home order. Why? I don't, Gavin, 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 Gavin. What are you doing? Gavin. Yeah, so um, uh, see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs>